I met Angie whenever I, I decided to come visit uh, her church. And I actually was there to meet another girl because Angie had a boyfriend at the time. And uh, when she walked in the Sunday school room, I thought, I wish I was meeting her. <laughs> so we became friends really quickly. And uh, then about a year later, uh, I asked her out and she said yes. And five and a half months later, we married. So she was the love of my life. After we got married, we had several months where it was just she and I and just had such a great time, enjoyed each other's company. It was, it was a marriage in heaven, it really was. In 2002, after she had Austin, uh, shortly afterwards she began to homeschool our, all our children, Joseph, Jordan, and Jalen, and of course I was working at a factory, but we spent a lot of time during the week together, she and I, and we would you know, do things together, walk, watch TV, and I'd play with the boys outside. And it, it was just a great life for 13 years, from 02 to 2015. Uh, well, a couple of months earlier, Angie had begun to be immobile in her right arm. She was sitting here one day, and she, I said, are you okay? She said, Jerry, I've got some knots under my arm. And so she went into the surgeon, and when she came out, she just said, he, he says it's bad. So the next day, he did a biopsy, and I won't get into all the details, but he came out and sat in a room with me and her mother and said they couldn't do surgery, that they could do chemotherapy, and he looked me in the eye and he said, this is a woman that's gonna die. And my world fell apart. <laughs> the moment she passed away, I was there and one of our sons, one of our twins was there, Jalen, spent the night in the hospital with me. And uh, it was so shocking, even though we knew it was coming. <laughs> she was an amazing woman. <laughs> And now <laughs> she's with Jesus and she will never have any more pain ever again. After Angie died, Bob and Christy Armstrong, who are Woodman Life uh, representatives, did a great job of uh, consoling me and working with me to tell me how this would come about, the insurance payment. And so I was able to pay for Angie's funeral without any problem. And we actually had money left over to pay off all of Angie's doctor bills, hospital bills, clinic bills. And it was, it was very important to me to have that security. You know, some people might say, well, I feel guilty using that money because there's a death involved. And Bob told me one time, he said, Imagine how you would feel each month if you were making a payment. Not only are you out a lot of money, but you are always thinking about the sadness of what you went through because it's a constant reminder of what you didn't have. So I'm so grateful that Angie loved me enough, and loved our boys enough to take out a policy with Woodman Life 